here at Maker Central 2019 where I'm exhibiting with Ivan Miranda and Tom Stanton who will uh, check out their stuff in a moment and later in the week there's a video coming up with both of them in so don't forget to check that out. Right, I'm here with Nick who's organised the entire show. So how's it been going? Fantastic, yeah so far turnout's been brilliant and people are still queuing up I think at the, at the door so. A little bit more diverse than last year, there's quite a lot of wood turners and this year we've got everything from forging, 3D printing, electronics and Henry Hoover pipe organs. Um, you know, try to bring in a bit more, you know, the electronics, gadgets, robots, things like that to mix that in as well. So a bit maker fairy also, you know, with lots of woods going on, metal working and resin working, art. Okay, great. I think it's going to be a good show. Sticker. Right, I'm not here with Colin Furs because Colin Furs is behind me meeting hundreds of people. But we'll try to get hold of him later. I'm here with a Stephanie Explains It All, link in the description. Uh, and we're on the Kids Invent Stuff stands. So what are you doing at the show? Oh, in the show I am collaborating with Kids Invent Stuff. They made this amazing, beautiful unicorn that poops jelly beans. And I told them, why don't we just connect it to the internet and when someone tweets at us, uh, uh, mystical poops, it'll poop. So is it, what's it made of? Actually, that's a great question. I don't know. It looks like fiberglass, but someone's it. made uh, something and reinforced it. Yes. Good, and where does the jelly bean, right, So does this work if we if, if we tweet it? Does it work? I had problems with the connection here, and I haven't been able to finish it. See the pie there? That's what I was oh, right. doing. Okay. Yeah. But it's on wheels. It's got wheelchair wheels. This is Sean from Kids Invent Stuff. Uh, so this is eight-year-old True's sparkly pooping rainbow unicorn. Um, it is the world's first uh, drivable pooping unicorn. Uh, so you can ride on its back. Uh, it is an electric vehicle. Uh, it's remote controlled as well, so you can steer it from these two buttons for left and right, or you can uh, remote control it. And when you lift its tail, it poops out jelly beans. And very soon, thanks to a Stephanie, it is going to be web enabled, so it can poop uh, prompted by Twitter. So tell me about your glasses. They look like they're from Jurassic Park. Yes. So, of course, Je Jurassic Park is one of my favorite movies. It has crazy science, engineering, mm -hmm. awesome gadgets. Oh, dinosaurs. <laughs> Anyways, too long. Um, so I decided to make these for Coolest Projects last week and um, I 3D printed the whole thing. I sanded for days and days. I bondoed. I spray painted. Then I also used a different material to test it out. This is only 3D printed and put like you, you spray a mist of alcohol and it smoothens out. Yeah. So that only took like half a day and this is like five days. So I'm like, oh, I like this so much better. But anyways, just testing out new 3D prints. Um, I had to do the LED rings myself because I didn't measure the Adafruit ones. <laughs> I know. Right. Oops. I, and then um, the lenses are just like green plastic so it looks like it is um, a night vision. I have a Pi connected to it, a uh, Pi Zero, a uh, Pi camera, and anyone who tweets at Jurassic Pi, it'll take a picture and tweet it. I'm here with Laura Camp and I'm here with Jenny of the Jenny truck. The maker truck. The maker truck. Yeah. So yeah, so you come over, both come over from Germany. Exactly. How are you finding the show? Actually, he's from Switzerland. Oh really? Yeah, he came all the way from Switzerland. The show right. is the show is great. Um, second time, obviously. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than last time. Yeah. I'm surprised mm -hmm. how fast it grew. It's a lot of cool people here. A super nice community. And uh, the, the British guys here, and wow, nice. <laughs> yeah, so how does it compare to something like Maker Fair Hanover? So I met you out there a few years ago now, two yeah. years, three years. Yeah. So that was quite a big show. Do you do many others in Europe? So like, I think Prague is coming up. Prague? Oh, I Apparently. didn't even know. The funny thing is I'm more connected with the American maker okay. scene than I am oh, with right. the European. But um, yeah, I don't know. I missed um, Maker Fair Hanover last year. Okay. You were there with your truck as well. No, this year, no. This year not? No, no Hanover. This no year no. Right. No way. Yeah. But okay. I mean, in general, it, I think it's really cool that more and more of these events are popping up and sponsors are interested in it and the community is interested in it and the makers are interested. So it feels like a great uh, hub to meet people, 
uh, make work connections, make personal connections. It's all over the place, but it, it feels very organic, I think. Yeah. Right, Laura, I want to see your bike. My bike? You want to yeah, go? let's ride it. Yeah. It. Let's do it. Right, here's the bike. Tell us about the bike. The bike. So I got this uh, electric bike and the cool thing is that it fits two people, but I usually need to transport a lot of cargo. That's why I decided to make a sidecar out of an old beer keg that also holds my tool sustainers. So and does it hold your dog? It, this one doesn't hold my dog, but my dog has an extra trailer that, yeah. that he can sit in. So the general idea is that you can pack your sustainers on top, you obviously secure it with some bungee cord or something. So you can bring your tools and then you have room for more consumables or fill it up with ice and have a couple of beers in there. Yeah, beers. W whatever. No beer in there now, why is that? <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> yeah. But the cool thing is since this is an electric bike, you have pedal assist, so it doesn't really matter how much cargo you have, it's still fine to ride. I'm here with Matt Denton and of course the Mantis robot and you can check out some more videos in my channel about that and his channel links in the description. How's the show been going? It's very busy isn't it? Yes. I'm I'm, uh, I'm pretty tired I have to say it's only the start of the day what is it like half past 11 and I feel like it's uh, five o'clock already but it's good. It's was, that, busy. was that because of all the beer last night though? Maybe maybe not it was the early start no it was the early start on Friday. Yeah the early social right uh, so here we are the Mantis robot two-time walking machine. Guinness World Record yeah. for the largest walking hexapod robot, I think. So the largest rideable hexapod, largest rideable it's something like that. Robot, yeah. There we go, another Guinness World Record holder. Yeah. Right, but more popular than that, that yes. you've got here, yeah. is of course, here. the giant Lego. So this is all, this idea came from James, because James started, you made the skateboard, right? Yeah. And I saw James doing the skateboard and I was like, you know what, we should scale up a whole Lego kit. And I started with the go-kart, which is over there at five times scale and then I went crazy and did a forklift and then a bulldozer. So this is uh, nearly 400 parts and about six weeks of 24-7 printing. Uh, it was all done on uh, Lolsbot Taz 6s um, and it's about 26 kilos of filament, say five times scale or you could go to 15 times scale which is that which I'm never going to do but kind of fun. Tom Stanton, who's also another famous YouTuber whose channel you should check out. So have you been to a show like this before? I haven't actually, no. No, I, I did go to one of the TCT shows back when I had about 20,000 followers, so no, first time. Great, and what stuff have you brought today? Uh, various projects that are surprisingly still intact. Uh, I spent last week repairing all of them. But I've got the Super Capacitor rocket, the Reaction Wheel drone, and the big Chinook. Okay, so the Reaction Wheel drone so this stabilizes, you should watch this video if you haven't seen it. So it stabilizes by spinning the reaction wheels, and then there's rotors above and below, and that's how it works, which is very interesting. And this is a 3D printed hovercraft, printed in uh, clear ABS and then acetone smooth. So it, um, yeah, you can see all the uh, internals to it, which is pretty cool. It's also got a wireless camera on the top, so uh, you can do FPV racing. And that's YouTube famous. Yeah, a bloke come up and said, I've seen this on YouTube. Who, who made it? I said, well, who's the bloke who made this? Oh, really? Like, <laughs> That's me. Yeah. I'm here with Ivan Miranda, whose channel you should check out if you haven't already subscribed, who's come all the way from Spain. So how's it been going at the show? Well, it's really fun. I've never been in one and I'm having a great time. And what have you got on the table that's uh, not Tom Stanton stuff, even though it's all red? And I have my boat that went live last night, the water jet engine, rubber stamp, 3D printed skateboard, my swag machine, have trains, everything. Good, and so we've got this swag machine, it's got three buttons, one for each of us. And when you press a button, it makes a little ticket come out, which is rather nice. Free swag. 
Free swag. This is the YouTube zone where YouTubers can hang out and stick their stickers. Right, I'm here with the Mad Maker, formerly known as the Wood Chineer. Hello. How are you doing? So how's the show going? Fantastic. We had a flood of people just come in through the door when it opened and we've been like this ever since, um, which is great. We've got the Gorilla Glue stand at the moment. I don't work for Gorilla Glue. I'm one of the volunteers, another maker, a new small YouTuber, helping out, showing off the product to the you know, public, doing a little talk on stage tomorrow at 10.30 as well, worth okay. mentioning. If you want really bad jokes about glue, catch it. Did you do one today? Did I see you doing a bit of a talk about glue? Pretty really bad. Um, but it was nice and interesting if you like the product. Yeah. Um, we're doing also a collaborative public art sculpture. Very trendy name for it, right. called Maker DNA. It is going to be a double helix of pieces of wood spiralling around. Of, you know, a spiral of awesomeness, if you will. Okay. It's going to have people signing the triangles as well. I need to start gluing it together because at the moment there's a stack of signed triangles. And it's going to just spiral up as far as we can make it. Probably be about, probably so be about a just, meter. It will just keep going it'll until just keep going we until, stop gluing. Yeah. And they've got to fit it in the van, so... Plus, we got Jonathan Whitaker, who's doing some amazing stuff with wood carving. He's a professional wood carver. Now, the great thing about the work that John does, it's all rubbish cheap materials he's making this out of two by four you wouldn't have thought that's made from a couple of two by fours glued together with gorilla glue i might add i'm on the makerspace stands and i'm here with holly and jem from so make it the southampton makerspace which is my local makerspace so how's the show been going it's been going really well so far a lot of people don't know about makerspaces so it's been great getting the word out Okay, and we've got some 3D printing and also some more diverse stuff. So what's on the table? We've got uh, crochet on the table, which is my specialty. We've also got some laser cutting um, and the lathe, so some wood turning to show off as well, just to show off that it's not just the 3D printing down here. Okay, and we've got quite a big booth and not only Southampton, but other maker spaces, which are... We've got Fizz, yeah, Fizz Pop from Birmingham and Leicester Makerspace. Okay. And if you want to go to a makerspace, you should check out the local makerspace in your local town. That's the end of my Maker Central vlog 2019 with me, James Bruton. Don't forget to check out the collaboration with Tom Stanton and Ivan Miranda that's coming up probably later this week. All right, that's all for now. How, how good are we going? You I tell think me about 50%. You're getting about 50-50, I think. There's about water on the floor? Yeah. We're, we're going, we're going. I think you just got to commit to this now. Yeah. I think you're going to speed in some, but yes. and that's good. There and we go. Good. There we go. Hey! This is worthless and weird, so I mean... I would or not. I mean, this, is, this has got to be at least as good as anything I've done. This is with water instead of fire. It's a 3D printed inside joke. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine. It's so beautiful stuff.